What's up? Welcome back. I have a super, super quick video for you on a new Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. This was released last Wednesday um, as part of the Everlasting Flash. Um, and so for those of you who don't know, Kat Von D for the year 2017 is going to be doing what is called an Everlasting Flash. And the first Wednesday of every month, she is going to release something that has previously not been released or release some sort of set, some sort of, you know, basically a surprise. Um, you do find out a few days before. This particular one, the kickoff, was the Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sanctuary. That was the very first one. Um, she has about 20 new shades, um, more or less. I know that's not the exact number. She has quite a few new shades coming out in this Everlasting Liquid Lipstick line. And so this was the first to come out. This will be the first of, I want to say, five could be six um, new releases that we'll be releasing on January 24th. So Everlasting Flash is a release on the first Wednesday of every month for 48 hours or until the product sells out. In this case, it did sell out within the first day and I was able to get my hands on it, but it will be back on January 24th for those of y'all who were not able to get your hands on it. So I was really excited about this one because it was, it was described as a nude that suits all skin tones. And so it was like, I am all over that. I love her lipsticks. I love a lot of her nudes. So I went ahead and placed the order and it came in yesterday. It is what I am wearing on my lips right now. So this is what it looks like in the tube. So I pull it out of the box and I'm like, okay, it's a little darker than I anticipated, but that's okay, I can work with it. I start playing with it, putting it on my lips, and I'm like, this looks really, really similar to something I already own. For those of you who are wondering if you should get your hands on this, again, I am wearing it on my lips, so just to give you an idea, um, as far as the consistency, I have worn it all day today. It, it does wear consistent with the Kat Von D um, line of Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. I will say it almost fades down a little bit quicker than a lot of them, um, which is fine by me because I don't want it drying, crusting, you know how that goes. So as far as the shade, I am dazzled by it. That is, you know, pretty much a given. Her line of lipsticks is incredible. Now, as far as the shade, I am a little disappointed. So it's kind of a little bit of both because I already own something pretty much exactly like it. And it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sepia. <sighs> So this um, particular shade is exactly, it is a dupe for Anastasia's, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Sepia. Now, if you don't already own Sepia and you're looking for a shade like this, I absolutely think this is right up your alley. But for those of you who haven't picked it up and may already own Sepia, I wanted to put this video up prior to the 24th um, because I want you to see what the similarities are so that you know whether this is one that you should be picking up or not. Uh, I know I was a little bit surprised by how dark it was. I expected it to be a little bit lighter. Um, but this is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sanctuary. Again, consistency-wise, it's great. It's consistent with Kat Von D shades. Um, Sepia, I will tell you, is a little bit on the... Um, so Sanctuary has a a hint of a red undertone, so you're going to see that Sepia has the more chocolatey brown and Sanctuary has a slight reddish brown, but if you already own Sepia, there, unless you are a huge avid collector, really is no need for you to go out and buy Sanctuary. Here's what they look like side by side. Here is um, Sepia right here. You can tell it's got that more chocolatey brown. This one right here is Sanctuary. It's a little bit of a more reddish brown but close enough to where if you have one, you don't need the other. I'm in a way regretting having bought this one because there are several from her new lineup that I do want to get my hands on because I don't already have shades like them. Uh, so wanted to give you this really, really quick review. I think it's probably not even going to be like five minutes long. So as far as dazzled or disappointed, Dazzled as far as the consistency, a lot of most times on a lot of these, it, it can't go wrong. However, as far as the color, I am a little disappointed. That may have been a fail on my, my part to really do research on the shade or on the color. Um, but once, yeah, once I took it out of the box, I was like, I know this color. So 
Let me show them to you side by side so that you can truly see the difference. So you see how one of them's a little bit lighter. This one's going to be just a little bit lighter, a little more chocolatey brown. And this one is a little bit more on the red side, but similar enough to where you don't need both. As far as price point, they both retail for the same price, which is $20. So if you are wanting a color like this, you're not going to be, um, you know, out any more money if you go one route as far as the other. They are both the same price, or $20, so you can choose one or the other if you're looking into getting a shade like this. So let me give you an idea of the amount. Um, the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick comes with 3.2 grams, or 0.11 ounces, and the Kat Von D comes with 6.6 .6 milliliters or 0.22 fluid ounces. So I guess that confuses me a little bit. Now, I am horrible at math. I'm horrible at metrics. Um, but I mean, it seems like the Anastasia is half the size, which doesn't make sense to me because it looks bigger around. Um, but then again, this one is taller, so I mean, I guess you're getting a better value with the Kat Von D just because you get more product. But anyways, that's what those look like. Again, this is what they look like side by side. Very, very similar. Um, it is really, really nice. Again, the Kat Von D, the consistency is great. Very consistent with um, all her other lipsticks. Although there are a few that I find extra drying, this is not one of them. Like I said, it faded throughout the day, which usually those they don't do. Um, but yeah, so that was my real, real quick review. And before I let you go, I need to give you the verse of the day. Today's comes from Proverbs 3130, and it says, Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. This is the verse I have on my channel description. I think this is the verse I also gave my very, very first video. And so I love that verse and I wanted to go over it again. I wanted to um, share it with y'all again. I hope um, that it has encouraged you. And I hope y'all are all doing wonderful. I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.